Ow, I'm breaking the rules. Oopsie. Um, I'm on retreat with um, the beautiful Kate Chiffy Gray and we are in Nepal at the moment. It is fucking epic. We just went on a safari, saw a rhino and elephants and holy fuck, fucking amazing. Um, but what I wanted to jump on here today with you and share with you all is asking and this has really landed in my in my my life right now and asking for help and it's so beautiful because the thing I love about life is that everything comes back around hey Jade um, yeah so what I want to what I want to say is where do we not ask for help where do you not ask for help and this showed up for me because I wasn't asking for help one of the reasons was because I didn't even think about it because I was so thinking of everyone else and other things and the other reasons were the other reason was also that there was a part of me this little story in my head that goes oh I can't do that so what I want to reiterate to you guys is that we get to ask for help we get to ask for what we want and we get to own it because if we don't then the universe does not know that we want it. The universe doesn't know how fucking serious we are about it. And we fucking are serious about it. If it is a need, if it is a desire for us, we get to ask for it. And this connects into, it comes back to a lot of things, but when I want you to, because I would, I'm going to invite you to ask for something. So connect into something that you really, really want in your life right now. And maybe that's asking for help with doing the housework around the house. Maybe it's actually asking for what you want in the bedroom from your lover, from your husband. Maybe that's asking to be seen in a conversation. You get to ask for it. But what I would invite you to do is sit with the stories that arise in your mind around why you feel you can't ask for help or why you feel like you can't ask for this thing and write them down because they're only stories and a lot of the times it dates back to being seen and not heard when we're children or um, you get what you're given or you know you don't need anymore it's okay you've got enough and that's that's fine we don't need anymore we can't ask for anymore and a lot of the times this stuff plays out it also connects in with self-worth and notice these thoughts that come up I've written a few notes so I don't forget <laughs> so notice these thoughts that come up and what I want you to ask yourself is how can you lean into the discomfort of asking anyway so for me what this looks like is having a conversation with the person for instance um, hey beauty I just want to let you know that I'm feeling really really fucking uncomfortable around asking for help at the moment around this and it really scares me and I just wanted to let you know that that's how I'm feeling and I'm also going to do it anyway because I don't want to stay stuck in those thoughts so being as completely transparent as you possibly can and this also is attached to reminding yourself that you're safe because what happens is the brain goes we're not safe if we ask for help because what happens is they could reject us or they could abandon us or they could, you know, there might be some sort of disharmony. And what happens is women normally, what we do is we will sacrifice our desires and our needs in order to keep um, the safety of our personal connections because we don't want to rock the boat. So asking for help, asking for what you need, notice the thoughts that arise, how can you lean in and how can you be completely as transparent as you possibly can. And during this process, it might actually be really diving in and, and holding yourself. So how can you anchor into yourself as much as you possibly can? Know that you won't die, remind yourself of this and speak into it anyway. And then once you do, when you do this, no attachment to the outcome. So it could be a yes and it also could be a no and that's perfectly fine as well. The win in this will be you speaking into this. That will be what will actually shift the fear that is existing within our physiological body, okay? And so once you ask and you get your response, if it's a no, notice what thoughts arise. If it's a yes, I invite you to also notice what thoughts arise because what can happen is that we can go into um, a mode that is, how can I keep everyone happy? So harmony mode. So what can happen sometimes is they come back with an answer and 
perhaps they've had to change some things or you can tell in their vibe that it's not okay. Hey, beautiful Shelly. And we start to go in fix it mode or how can we make things better? Because we're women, we wanna nurture, we wanna love. This is also a part of our thing. So really noticing where you go into protection mode with your personal connections and how that plays out. And how can you lean into being okay with whatever their answer is, whatever the fear is in your body that arises, and how can you hold yourself through that? Because the win is the process of asking, not the outcome, the process of actually asking. That is going to fucking anchor in your body like there's no tomorrow. I guarantee you. So I'd love to know how you go with this and you get to have it. You get to ask for it. You fucking deserve to ask for it. So fucking ask for it because you get to have it all. I love you so much and I'm here doing it with you. I fucking promise. And if you have anything, what is it that you are wanting to call in? What is it that you are wanting to ask for? Maybe it's even asking for help from your partner around the house. And that's perfect as well. I'd love to know what it is that you are desiring to ask for, but that you really, really struggle to ask for. I love you, I love you, I love you so fucking much. And I'm so grateful to be sharing this journey with you all because we fucking get to have it and we get to ask for it. Oh. I love you guys. I will speak to you all again soon. Goodbye from Nepal.